Harvard University, 47% of the time we are absolutely lost in thought. Disconnected, out of the moment. Our body is doing one thing, our minds in another place. Show of hands, how many people have ever arrived in their driveway with little recollection of the journey home? On a personal level, we're feeling disconnected from others. We're living lives that are full of activity, but lacking meaning. On a global level, we're seeing skyrocketing rates of depression, anxiety, even starting as low as seven years old. Any emotions in a team spread like a virus. And we know that negativity is the biggest killer when it comes to engagement, when it comes to alignment, and when it comes to performance. Good news, though, is that positive emotions also spread like a virus. Has anyone ever watched anyone waiting in a line? Or waiting for a friend, waiting for a bus, even waiting to cross the road? You often see people, heads down, eyes glued to mobile devices. And it's like we are filling every single idle moment with just more for attention to chew on. 50,000 thoughts a day, 12,000 internal conversations. And just thinking about that number, that just seems crazy because we're not aware of most of those. During times of change, that actually doubles. It is just no wonder that this precious, fragile resource of attention is struggling to connect us to those moments of happiness that are just lying there, waiting patiently for us to notice You them. can't give gratitude for the beauty of the day if you are not first paying attention. It's the thread that connects us to life, and it can turn our lives from being something that's being played out in black and white to something that appears in absolute full colour. Every single one of you here has also experienced what a gift attention can be. Because you've all experienced a time where you sat down, maybe with a friend, a colleague, or a client, and you truly listened. Not the listening that we do today, which is distracted, which is interrupted by mobile technology, but you listened with no judgment, with no commentary, with no problem solving, just for listening. And you see right in front of you how that person is transformed. Where your attention goes, energy flows. And essentially that means that if your attention or a person's attention is on negative thoughts, then their energy is going to go into poor performance. If your person's attention is actually on safety, being fully present with their job, then their energy is going to go into creating a safe um, work environment. So where your attention goes, your energy flows and your body is always following your brain. How often are we all missing the moments to pay attention to the things that we care for most? Don't ever, ever, ever underestimate the impact that you can have, not just on whether your team's inspired, excited, aligned, but actually on their lives, on how fulfilled they are in their lives. Because all of your workforce out there, they're relying on you as their leader. They're relying on you to lead.